Hello, this is Ars Malleus, and uh, welcome to Total War TV. Um, we have a game here for you at the map called Township, because uh, I wanted some variation. Um, I don't really feel like uh, putting a whole lot of grassy flatlands. I think it's boring. So, uh, I like a bit of uh, variation in my life. So, we have Township here, because um, now we have... Uh, in the middle. But uh, let's go look at uh, our contestants' armies. We have, um, in command of Spain here, we have Crusader in 1998. And in command of Scotland, we have, uh, whoa, my camera went freaky. In command of Scotland, we have Viking Arnvid. Let's look at Spain first, um, commanded by Crusader. We have, let's go with his uh, first rank here. First rank we have looks like we have musketeers, two units of musketeers right here at the front. We have two units of tercio pikemen that's just behind the uh, musketeers. The third rank consists of conquistadors, three units of them, dismounted conquistadors, and we have the mounted conquistadors at the back. Um, just behind the conquistadors, we have, well, you see four of them here, but there's two units of cannons over here. So that's his artillery. And general bodyguard. He has deployed his army all the way back here, and he is not moving at all. Which for forces the Scottish player to go through the city. Alright, looks like um, Scotland decides to push out and uh, Spain is going to just stick around there for some unholy reason. Anyway, Scotland in command uh, by um, commanded by Viking Arnvid has let's see, what is this? These are his Highland archers. He should have two units of them. This is his rabble. He's got two units of those. Oh, here it is. Here's the other unit of uh, Highland Archers. Oh, wait. No, these are Highland Archers. Those are uh, Highland Noble Archers. Or Noble. Just Noble Archers. These are his Noble Archers. These guys with the skirts are the Highland Archers. Uh, let's see. These dudes in the gray, with the uh, long ass axes, those are the, uh, I have no idea, I'm, I'm probably going to butcher the name, but the uh, Golo, Gologlock, Gologlock, whatever. He's got four units of those. Um, he's got one unit of, oh yeah, here's more of the Gologlock, and Highland Warriors right here, and with the uh, small axes and the small shields. And they have bold paintings on their faces too, which is pretty cool. Alright, we have, um, hmm. We have some light cavalry here as well. So, this cavalry is some light cap. We have light cavalry. Looks like the Scot Scottish is positioning two of his cavalry at the outskirts of the uh, the town here. Oh, I think this is his island nobles. Uh, uh, uh. Let's see, not a whole lot of uh, things going on. The Spanish player moved a little bit, kind of, not really. Looks like the Spanish player is also positioning himself at the outskirts of the city. With the Tercio Pikemen leading and the 
uh, musketeers as a vanguard. So, nothing too significant. <laughs> Asking who's gonna win. I think I'm gonna win. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Wonder if these guys realize that um, YouTube only accepts 15, 15 minute battles. I don't know. I really hope they <laughs> get started soon. Anyway, we've got um, Scot Scotland, Scottish. Looks like um, I have no idea what Scottish Scotland's doing, but he's fortifying this pass right here, but it doesn't really look like um, Spain is going through there. Looks like Spain is positioning himself right the outskirts. No, I, I, I think this is um, <clears throat> this was a bit of a mistake on my part. It's turning into a bridge battle. I really hope there's enough space in my hard drive for this. No, for some reason, every time I uh, I go into uh, uh, medieval total war, um, I always get hungry. I think it's because there's a restaurant here in my uh, here in uh, where I am called Medieval Times, and uh, what happens is that uh, they serve you in this uh, you know, the restaurant is uh, medieval styled, so it's like uh, kind of like an arena kind of thing, and uh, while you eat. They're doing like these uh, these jousts and uh, basically they put on a show for you. And uh, yeah, reminds me of that. So uh, making me hungry. Making me hungry. But at least that one I'm not bored because you know they're doing something. You know, uh, it's not really a good idea. This this happening. He's gonna blow his. Um, Crusader's gonna blow his uh, cavalry apart if his cannons. Oh god, I can't watch. Oh! Uh, never mind. <laughs> Thought for sure they were gonna die. I guess that only happens in um, Empire Total War. So Spain is conducting a very, very um, defensive position right now. Scotland will have to move up. Well, one of them will have to move up, um, and both of them seem to have the idea of sealing this particular um, section of the city, of the town anyway, using their cavalry. but. Um, in terms of cavalry, the Spanish have the advantage, considering they have heavier cavalry. These are light cavalry. It's going to be interesting how Scotland will um, make use of this. Anyway, we've got some Highland archers coming out to play here in the open field. We have the Galloglock. Escorting the Highland archers as they advanced, followed by the rest of the army. We have, um, I know for sure that the some of the cavalry went into this forest right here. Oh, here they are. Here they are. They're being concealed by the forest, and it looks like they're attempting to form an outflank. Uh, I'm not sure if Crusader sees this, but. Um, He's pulled back some of his cav cavalry to protect his rear. So, um, Chansari does see it. But, um, 
if Scotland really doesn't move, um, Spain can just sit back and start wailing on uh, Scotland using the uh, using these cannons. And one of the cannons is facing the wrong way. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to. Uh, uh, yeah. You know what? I'm I'm gonna stop this for a second because I don't think this is gonna fit in one video. Be back in a minute. All right. Um, welcome back. So, um, development recap. Scottish Scotland moved up. They took some uh, they took some damage from the cannons. Not a whole lot. But, uh, they got hit a few times. And now the Scot Scottish launched their um, light cab from the forest. I think that's a little too premature, but I think he wants to knock out these um, these cannons. But uh, they're well, they're just way too de well defended. And now Scotland is going to go for a quick run against these uh, musketeers, but um, I think they should have continued. He cancelled the order. Um, I th think he got scared by the uh, tertio pikemen, but uh, I think he should have gone for it. At the very least, he would have taken out a quite a bit of units. Anyway, here comes the mounted conquistadors, and they are advancing right up to these Scottish archers. These Scottish Scottish archers are gonna die if that happens. Oh, but Spain pulls back. Should have gone. Anyway, um, the light in this these this group of light um, cavalry managed to surround this um, these conquistadors here, and they're doing quite a bit of damage to that one. And finally, the Scottish um, Highland archers are finally in range and they are flaming these guys they really want some roasted um, some roasted Spanish guys because uh, a lot of their own units got roasted by these um, cannons anyway the front rank Scottish front rank are slowly moving up they really should be running because they are going to get destroyed by these musketeers. Here comes a charge from the conquistadors against the Galaglock. And here comes the Highlanders. Big bad Highlanders doing what they do best. And that's fighting close combat. That sounds like Warhammer, but uh, hey, it is close combat. Right? Anyway, um, it's a general brawl here at the front line. We've got light infantry, light uh, cavalry coming in from the flank through the forest. They finish wiping the floor with the um, with a mounted conquistador over here, but they're heavily depleted. And we have the reserve conquistadors coming in to help the flank here, filling in the, the gap so that these um, light cavalry doesn't get through. Oh, we also have we also have a small confrontation here at the back near the uh, near the uh, yeah, near the back of this uh, town, and this is. Light cavalry going up against conquistadors. That's not going to go well for Scotland. We have the general unit over here. Ready to pounce on these uh, these Scottish Highlanders, and we have a reserve unit of musketeers. So it's um, general brawl here. It's looking very uh, it's looking very medieval authentic. It's authentically medieval. <laughs> got units routing from both sides uh, well there were units routing from uh, 
the Spanish side, but now there's, wow, there's a huge rout happening. The Scottish uh, line. These are the, um, these are the archers, actually. And I guess they caused a chain rout for these, um, Gelaglocks. And, or in Scottish um, Highlanders or Highland Warriors Highlanders we've got more archers leaving the battlefield or no those aren't archers those are rabble no wonder they're leaving anyway uh, they co I think they're the ones that caused that massive rout but, um, we've got a nice open space here, actually. Um, if Scotland was only able... If Scotland didn't just pour in his troops over here, it could have gotten... Swung something into here and, uh, flanked these troops. If you can get his rabble through there. Unsurprisingly, the cavalry fight didn't go so well for Scotland. And these Spanish conquistadors are in prime position for a hammer and anvil, or even go after these um, Highland archers and uh, noble archers. We have the general unit here, and he's at the um, <coughs> Highland nobles, Highland noble units, the giant broadswords, two-handed broadswords. It looks like Scotland is going to pour in the rest of his units, i.e. the archers. So looks like Scotland's um, main tactic here is go forward and kill everything. Ironically, that's also the <laughs> that's also seemed to be the tactic for of uh, of our Spanish player here, or more like hold back. Uh, kill everything as they come. Only half the enemy force remains. I think both players were banking on the quality of their um, of their units. <laughs> it's funny how the Scot the Scottish keep on routing, but they keep on coming back. It's pretty funny. Um, the Scottish definitely has the n the numerical advantage. But, um, the, Span the Spanish, uh, have the elite conquistadors. And again, both of these, um, both of the units they're using are pretty elite. So, can go both ways. But, uh, having a numerical advantage should mean that they need to, uh, use outflanking maneuvers, but, um, But it's a general brawl right now. Looks like um, our Scottish player is establishing a reserve line using the units that recently routed. Unfortunately, if they keep them <laughs> all the way there, they're gonna get pounded by these cannons. Uh, the cavalry is still there. Now the reserve units are coming in. The units that came from routing. They're pushing up. Not looking too good for Scotland here at the front line. But the Spanish units are dwindling slowly. Spain should get his Tercio pikemen in. The enemy are badly blooded. Right they here. Have lost half their men. Right this open spot. And we now have the general unit for on of the uh, from the sp from the uh, Spanish the Scottish side coming in to have a piece of the uh, the action. Wow, 
wow, the uh, cannon is really, really being effective in here. In this game. Just got a chunk out of that, <laughs> the uh, Highland Nobles. got the Spanish general mixed up in all this and looks like the Scotland managed to break through and is now engaging the Tercio pikemen and finally Spain has activated the remaining uh, his remaining musketeer unit is now pushing up. He should push up a little bit more so he can fire the flanks of these Scot of these uh, Scottish warriors. And through perseverance and sheer weight in numbers the Scottish are dwindling the conquistadors down to these units as well as the bodyguard. Got uh, got archers here. Um, Highland archers. Or no, these are the noble archers. Noble archers, duking out with the Tercio pikemen. We got a dead general here. That's Spain. A Spanish general finally bit the dust. It's down to these two, uh, these two bodyguards right here. What happened to the conquistadors? They're gone. Oh, we got one last conquistador. Two last conquistadors. Oh, that, that one's dead. It's up to this dude. And... And he's routing. So, general unit over there. Got one last... I guess the Spanish player didn't realize he still has this uh, unit. Would have made a nice hammer and anvil. Um, using that. Anyway, musketeers are finally taking some shots. The cannons are doing some excellent work, actually. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Scotland! Scotland's routing from all the cannon fire and the uh, the gunshot. Suddenly, the <laughs> suddenly the um. the tide of battle shifted oh and looks like Spain is sending his cavalry to uh, I don't know maybe finish up he could do two things finish off these guys right here or go after these units to prevent them from routing but from the looks of it the cannons are um, doing a good job of it already anyway um these musketeers can probably make these uh, make the general unit route. The Tercio pikemen are holding out against these noble archers, but looks like they're gonna break soon. And uh, there we go. It looks like Spain chose uh, option B. Finishing off the routing units. Anyway, Tercio pikemen are being eaten alive by the general unit. Or general unit for Spain. Uh, the noble the noble warriors. Not really a uh, bodyguard unit per se. And now Spain went for the hammer and anvil. And musketeers.
tears are firing. Let's see what's gonna happen. Oh. Spain shifted the units that were over here to confront these mounted conquistadors. I don't know, Scotland can still win this if the general unit uh, holds together. The enemy general flees or not. Let's see how this will affect Scotland and... Uh, oh, wow, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like these conquistadors, conquistadors are stuck. Look, I'm freak out. Ooh. Ooh, dead. Is he gonna die? Is he gonna die? No, he's not. He's still going. He's still going. Oh, there he goes. He's dead. <laughs> Pretty cool. Anyway, we only have these guys left archers what's funny is that these archers have axes pretty badass alright one archer down these archers left looks like that's the end of the uh That's the end of Scotland right here. Unless uh, he's got something else up his sleeve, but I highly doubt it. Spain is going for the kill right now. Ooh! Look at him fly! Ha <laughs> 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 Flew like 10 feet in the air. Alright. Okay, I guess that's it for... Um, it for Scotland. Why is it ending? Hmm. Come on, and there you go. Thank you very much. That was a long battle. That was a huge mistake in picking the, uh, in terms of picking the, uh, the map. Oh, went well, way too long. <laughs> okay, next time, um, I'll choose, an, I'll choose an open field. No more buildings. There you go. Thank you. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel, Ultimate Dirt Clod, also known Ars Malleus, Total War TV. Check us out. See ya.